afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on behalf of Tissot. I'm sure you're very excited to be here today. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about luxury brand Tissot. They are the official timekeepers for so many sporting events, which is why they are so excited about the fact that they have so many sporting partnerships. Let me tell you, as all of you well know, as a sports presenter, it's Okay, now you can get your round of applause out that you wanted to get from Virat. Well, that looks very stylish and uh, ladies and gentlemen, all three of us in fact are Virat later as well to capture the noodles we watch. Thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much Samantha. Have a seat, I know it's been a busy day for you. Just a normal day in the house, huh? Yeah, that's a normal day. So first and foremost, Virat, excited to have you here. Uh, whenever we say you have off time for cricket, there's actually no off time for you. Um, Chrono XL, which um, I really like. Um, this is the latest addition to um, the Tissot collection and something which I really enjoy because of the size and how the watch looks. It's very clean as well. So something that I enjoy a lot and um, very happy to have it. Plus, um, yeah, it's just nice to be resting for a bit, you know, relaxing. Uh, very important to have these times as well. And I'm just embracing it, enjoying uh, all the downtime, trying to recoup and recover and on the road again soon. I know we're all looking forward to that and I often say that a brand like Tissot has prided themselves with the fact that they have gone ahead and uh, they are, you know, associated with a lot of sporting fighting writers, a lot of sporting international events, but they're also associated with this collaboration with Virat Kohli, a partnership, I like to call it, that has gone on for more than three years now. What has that journey been like for you? Well, the journey obviously um, has been really nice. I mean, it, it came along at the time where, you know, I was just getting into the peak of my um, career. It's, it was just at the start of 2016. And, um, you know, two and a half years into it, it's been um, a wonderful association. Um, the thing that stood out for me with Tiso was um, the legacy that it, it carries with it. And, um, you know, the trust that the brand has been able to maintain with people out there. And that's something that, you know, I believe in as well. Um, excelling at what I do, being honest to my work and uh, just giving everything that I have towards making something work and that, that's something that Tiso believes in too and um, the match was perfect and uh, yeah, it's been a great association so far. And you know what, as girls we're lucky, we have so many accessories, I mean my watch is from the Cheminder Terrell range but Virat's is the new range, it is a main accessory for men, you're so stylish, I mean look at that. You know you're pretty stylish off the field as well. So, since you've seen a lot of Tissot watches, which one do you really like the most? You know, what kind of watch suits you the best, you feel? Well, the Chemin obviously is a classical watch. That was the first Tradition. watch I... Yes, the, the first one I got from Tissot. But my current favorite um, is the Powermatic, uh, which is a very, very classic watch. It's uh, quite sleek, very light, and um, the dial is very simple. Uh, plus the chronos as well. I mean, I carry a chrono with me to the game. Um, I wear it to the game. I wear it in presentations as well. So, yeah, but on a daily basis, I wear the Powermatic, um, which is quite a elegant looking watch. It also reflects so much about, you know, a person's, like a personality, your attitude. It's so important the way that you pick out a watch. So, you know, for the fans here, for the men, the girls, the boys, any tips on how to get the perfect watch? Well, Depends from person to person, you know, some people like big chunky watches, some people like um, elegant looking classy watches, um, some people like the dial to be heavy and, you know, feel the weight on the wrist, some people like it light, so it's, it's just a personal preference, but uh, the one thing that I, I am very specific about in my watches is the, that the dial should be um, classic, 
it, it should not be too loud or too busy. Um, you know, the, the metal it's made of, whether it's gold or steel or whatever, should speak for itself. So the dial should be nice and relaxed and, you know, it should not be confusing, uh, to, be, to be very uh, honest. So, yeah, that is something that I always look for in my watches. And um, look, the classical watches, uh, you know, run through time and they'll, they'll never go out of fashion. So that's something that I believe in. That's right. Innovators by tradition for a reason. So if you had to give someone a Tissot watch, who's it going to be? And which watch would you give them? Well, it depends. Uh, uh, I guess pick someone. Else. Pick anyone. Doesn't even have to be your teammate. Um, I would give Chahel a watch because he's always late. So I'll give him a any watch just to keep a check on it's time. It's going to be a little tricky to find a watch that doesn't fall off his wrist. Let's be a little honest about that. I know, it'll have to be a rubber band strap or something because all the other straps will be loose for him. Fair enough. Now we're going to have some fun really out of here because as Virat just mentioned, he's got a little bit of downtime which is why he can be here with all of you. But of course, uh, you've got this before we move on to IPL, I just got to say, just going back to what happened in South Africa, so many personal milestones for you as well. You know, you carry that form forward, you're scoring centuries, nothing new, picking up the test mace yet again, and now back into the cricket. Looking forward to the IPL, physically fit, mentally ready? Yeah, physically I had a few niggles. I'm just getting over uh, those niggles, you know, it's the workload um, has started to disagree with me a little bit so I have to be very careful about how I go forward with uh, my body my mind and my cricket so uh, you know times like these are very very important going ahead and I'm totally enjoying it you know I don't even um, have an inch of me um, missing out on anything because my body really needed this uh, although I'm keeping a track on the games I watch the boys play uh, you know whenever the matches are on and Yesterday again, it was a really good one for us. But um, look, I, I don't watch uh, matches right now and feel like I want to be on the field because I've started to listen to my body. And yeah, when I'm when I'm done with this period, obviously IPL, I'll be coming out fresh. I'll be mentally in a better better place to want to be out there on the field because I've been on the road for a long, long time. You know, I've hardly missed any games. And yeah, look, you, you need to pay respect to your body as well at times. And as I said, this phase is very important for me. So let's take your mind further away from cricket. We have fun, a little bit of a rapid fire for you. Uh, some of your fans might actually already know the answers or think they know the answers. So surprise us, Virat. Uh, favorite holiday destination? Um, favorite holiday destination would be somewhere in Europe. Nobody owes you? Yeah, is somewhere in possible? Europe. Yeah. But if I'm playing cricket and I, I want to have some downtime, I think Australia is a great place. But um, if I want to be on a holiday where no one recognizes us, then um, definitely somewhere in Europe or one of the Ar Arctic countries, Arctic countries, you know, where there's so much snow that have people... Have you been? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have yeah. been. And um, it's a wonderful experience. No one knows you at all. And just to be able to walk on the streets yeah, going unnoticed is a great feeling. You, like I introduced you as someone who's kind of transformed India's sporting culture is mainly because of what you eat. So what's your favorite cuisine? Now, um, Japanese, earlier it was... For a couple of years, I think, though, you like the Japanese because it's most healthy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. For about three years now, uh, I can eat Japanese food at any time of the day. I totally love the cuisine. I've developed a taste for it, but earlier it was Mughlai, butter chicken and all that. But I'm proud from it now. i tell you what, if rumors are to be believed, Virat Kohli has not touched carbs in six years, yeah, if rumors are to be believed. That's, that's <laughs> now that, why I want to ask you that is because for us that's like comfort food, like cheat day food. So do you have comfort food? Do you have a cheat day? Do you give yourself that time? Cheat day for me would be um, some gluten free. No, it has to have gluten. Come on. No, it's not a cheat day without something fried and without something gluten. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's 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 not only black or white. It's it's um, you, you know it's a mixture of everything. You, you have to understand that you can't live without carbs. You know, as a human being, you have to eat carbs. But what kind of carbs you eat is what is important, and that's what I keep a check on. So when I have people come and tell me, "Oh, you haven't eaten carbs in six years," and I tell them, "You got to be joking, man! I would be on the hospital bed." You know, so I'm very smart about what I eat, and that's been the main factor for me. So indulging in, I would probably have a gluten-free dessert, which is 
you know made of natural sugar and all that stuff so that once in a while i do but uh, i don't i don't get those cravings anymore and that's what i was going to ask do you have a craving